This is Fitness Blender's Quick Cool Down Stretch. For this quick routine, we're going to be doing one round of 10 different stretches, and we're going to be holding each one of those stretches for 15 seconds. Let's go ahead and get ready. Our first exercise is the chest cross arm swing. Just gently swing those arms back and forward, trying to get as much stretch as you can to the front of your body and to the back of your body. Just about five seconds left. And let's go ahead and switch to the wide toe touches. So those feet are going to come out just outside that shoulder width, by about double shoulder width, and then you're going to stretch straight down in between those toes. Just about five seconds left. And go ahead and let that relax. We're going to move on to the next one, the squatting glute stretch. This one's a little bit difficult for balance. You're just going to cross your right leg over top of your left so that ankle's right on top of that knee, and then just squat down as low as is comfortable. Now, if you've never done the stretch before, you might need to grab the back of a chair or lean up against a wall for just a little extra balance. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Same exact motion. Just cross that opposite leg over top of that other knee. Just about five seconds left. And go ahead and let it relax. We're going to go ahead and do the inside thigh stretch next. Spread those feet about twice to three times shoulder width apart. You're going to bend one knee, keep that other leg straight, and lean back towards that straight leg. You should be able to feel it on the inside thigh of that straight leg. If not, just try to drop that hip just a little bit more on that straight leg. You should feel it jump in. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Just about five seconds left. And go ahead and let it relax. We're going to move on to the next one, the lunging hip flexor stretch. So you're just going to go into a regular lunge, one leg forward. Just keep that back leg straight. You're going to dip down as low as is comfortable. You should feel it to the front of that hip socket. That's where you want to feel that stretch. Go ahead and switch legs. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Just about five seconds left. And go ahead and let it relax. All right, let's move to the next one, the standing quad stretch. You might need the back of a chair or a wall for this one to help you out with a little bit of balance. Otherwise, standing nice and straight and tall, you're going to kick one foot up back behind you, grab it with the opposite hand, pull it up towards that butt, pushing that knee back behind you. All right, go ahead and switch sides. Now, the further you pull that knee back, the more you should feel it in the top of that thigh and the front of that hip. Five more seconds. And go ahead and let it relax. We're going to move to the next one, the side bend stretch. Those feet are relatively wide apart, so a little bit wider than shoulder width. And bring one hand up over top of your head. Lean away from that arm. Down far as far as you can. You should feel it all the way through that rib cage and down through that torso, maybe even to the outside of that hip. Let's go ahead and switch sides. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. And just about five seconds left. And go ahead and let it relax. We're going to do the arm cross shoulder stretch next. So standing up nice and straight and tall. You're going to grab one arm, pull it straight across in front of that chest. You're trying to keep that arm as close to your chest as you possibly can. You should feel it to the outside of your shoulder and back over top of that shoulder blade. Now let's go ahead and switch arms. Same thing on the opposite arm. Just about five seconds left. And go ahead and let that one relax. We're going to do the overhead tricep stretch next. So reach up with that left hand, reaching back towards your left shoulder. Grab that elbow with your right hand and pull it across and back behind you. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Same thing in the opposite arm. Five seconds left. And go ahead and let that one relax. Move into our last stretch, the wall shoulder stretch. So both those hands go up against the wall, just a little bit above shoulder height, a little bit above head height. You're going to stretch that head and chest down towards the base of that wall, trying to get that chest to stretch out as much as you can. You're going to feel it through the sides of that rib cage as well as in the front of your chest and shoulder. 
and go ahead and let it relax. All right, good job. You just finished Kelly's quick cool down and stretch.